Taking a look at this IBF middleweight world title fight and there are some interesting facts to take note of. Age. Daniel Gill at age 30 is seven years younger than his opponent. Wait, they are fighting for the middleweight world title. Both have fought most of their careers in this division and will have no problem making the weight. Looking at the height, and Albert comes in at 183 centimetres while Gill is 178. Gill's last opponent, Sebastian Sylvester, was just 172 centimetres. But the Australian will have no problem with a taller opponent. His previous two victories against Karmazin and Karayuki were both against fighters in the same six-foot height range. Looking at the reach, even though Daniel is slightly shorter, he does have a reach advantage. Experience. Both these boys were celebrated amateur fighters and represented their countries at the Olympic Games. Albert with nearly 600 amateur bouts. In professional fights, Albert has had three more than Daniel Gill. In his pro career, he's fought a total of 192 rounds, compared with Daniel's 171. Punching power. Gill has a slight edge here. He has a KO percentage of 58, while Albert is just 41%. Given that Gill is yet to be knocked out in his career and Albert only once, a points decision would not surprise. But Daniel Gill seems to have the edge in this fight. The biggest difference for him going into this bout is that he is now the world title holder, making his first defence of the crown. He's gone from being the hunter to the hunted.